you join me today in the beautiful village of Brood. Brood has won awards for one of the best kept large villages in the UK. Let's go and take a walk around and see if we can find anything of interest. So the first one we come across is there's a pub here at the top of the steps. Here are the steps. It's quite a climb up here. You can tell that by the height of this bridge over here. This is bridge 14. So let's carry on walking. So here we go up the steps we go. I don't like walking up these elongated steps. There's no quite one or two steps in between. They're just a weird size. Perhaps it's just my long legs. Yeah, bridge 14 and the first thing I can see is a church in the distance over there. Well I say the distance, it's not that far away. So that will be the first thing we will take a look at. And here is the bridge in. So that's really close to the canal. Perhaps we'll go in and investigate the bridge in in a moment. First of all, let's go and take a look at that church. To get to the church, we're just going to cross the bridge over the canal. So here we have the church. And it's St Mary's Catholic Church of Brood. And if anyone was wondering how Brood was spelt, that is how Brood is spelt. And there we have the church. I'm not going to go inside the grounds. There's a service going on at the moment. And I don't want to be rude and interrupt in any way. Just realised there's actually a footbridge across the canal here. Right alongside the road. And here is the size of the bridge in. So Marston's pub. So that means Marston's Brewery own it. And it'll either be leased or tent occupied or ran by a manager or something like that. So as we walk around here in the bridge. Quite a large garden and a large car park. <laughs> Covered canopy here or marquee. And look at this. They have a laundriette, which for us boaters is great. And here is the laundry room. We have two washers and we have two dryers and the cost for the wash is three pounds and the cost for the dryer is one pound fifty and I'm told by a reliable source somebody that's just using it that you actually get 45 minutes for your £1.50 on the dryer. So that's good value for money. Anyway, let's go and look inside the pub. So I come in through the side door as we're around the back. It's a dog friendly pub. So you're on your boat with your dog. It's dog friendly and as we can see there, Helen and her team welcome you. Let's go and get welcome, shall we? So this is uh, the, one of the bars. 
as we come in. Yeah, so we'll be and, <laughs> oh, yeah. and here we have Helen, who is the manager or landlady. landlady. I, Extraordinaire. I wasn't quite sure. Uh, <laughs> I know of the. <laughs> Hi Sue. Hi. How are you? So it's Sue and Helen, and here we are. And they are. They will make you very welcome in here. I can assure you. Always. Very welcome. Always. And uh, look at the beers we have. Excellent choice of beers. Now I believe this would be called the public bar. Or the dog bar. See my American friends, uh, you won't know what a pork pie or a scotch egg is, but uh, you can find them in America, just hard to find. So here we are, we're rounded now in the lounge bar. As you can see, all these delicious beers on offer. These are the ones I call beers, the uh, ones with the old hand drawn on the old beer engine. Best way to get beer. And then of course you've got the regular gas pressurised beer pushed through the old CO2. And just look at these beautiful marigolds here. You wouldn't think it was September I'm recording this. To see these marigolds in full bloom that they are today. And look at this wisteria. Travels all the way along there. Look at it. And we have another village with a telephone box. And St. Dominic's Grammar School. I must think that this is a very old building to have all those bricked up windows. I'm assuming that's when there was a glass tax. The old wooden beams within here. Uh, bows, the wall is. This, the name of your house in the wall. It's like an old gateway there, doesn't it? Another fine building. And the village hall. Definitely have some old buildings here. I wonder what that was at one time. Look at this grand building here. This is the Swan Hotel. It's so very grand, this is. Come down Stafford Street. This says it's the old schoolhouse. There's a spa convenience store opposite. It just appears to be residential buildings and the rest of Stafford Street. So let's turn around and go back the other way. As we come back up the street, we have that magnificent building of the Swan Hotel, which is also a pub as well. And on our left hand side here, we have the Staffordshire Grill. We have the Staffordshire Grill, which is a part of the Lion Hotel at Brood. Another fine building. We have the co-op, of which the post office is inside. As we turn around and face the other one. This is Marketplace. 
bistro which looks like it's closed. And we look across at the Swan Hotel, the free house which serves traditional hours of course. Various stores up along here, including the bank, or is it a pharmacy? Sorry, it's Lloyd's Pharmacy, not Lloyd's Bank. most bikes finished at last a milliner's unfortunately it looks like it's closing down now here we have a Church of England church St Mary the Virgin and St Chad Brood course like all old English churches the graveyard is within the grounds of the church and here we have the church with its magnificent spire a lot of the gravestones are here, I cannot read, they're just uh, too well worn. But to give you some idea of some of the age of here. 1793 I think that says. We can go even older, look. This says 1748. And long way up and the view from the other side and I can just about get the whole church in from the end of this footpath camera's making it a look, look a little bit lopsided but I can assure you that's the camera doing that and not me let's see what we can do there we go if you hold the camera like that it looks a little straighter doesn't it i'm actually holding the camera at an angle well i'm going to leave the church grounds now and walk back through what i'm guessing is the main entrance to the church because it leads up to the main doors school road over there and just around the corner there is the junior school primary school or whatever you want to call it
and the curry in over here. Hmm, I like a good curry. Yes, the curry in. No, I won't be buying a curry, but I do like a good curry. I'll make my own. I cannot resist filming these. These beautiful dahlias. And yes, it's dahlia, not dahlia. So we walk back past the school. seating area here rather nice and we come back into marketplace I'm going to walk back by Newport Street a little less traffic we have a barber shop here and I don't think we have much more in the way of shops. There's a little choir, sir, which gives me a chance to thank you all for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the old bell notification button. That way YouTube will inform you every time I upload a new video. Leave your comments as well. Please leave your comments. I love reading your comments and I answer them all. Well, that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching. Trevor out. As I leave you walking past yet another wonderful timber framed building or two. Back to the bridge in where I started.